it's not easy to pick a Doc Martin boot and you know there's so many variables, there's so many different types. But I was looking into this, like I really like the classic kind of black silhouette of the Doc Martin boot, but I also like the red and you know I heard there was the that there were quality issues with um, Doc Martin boots and for example like the uh, they're not made in England anymore I think is one of the things and they don't have a shank plate underneath and I heard all these kind of negative things so I was like you know maybe I should go for the made in England boots even though they they still don't have a shank plate the first boot that I got was the made in England these this pair from the actual Doc Martens shop so they like so they, they didn't have the uh 14 1490 uh, I think it or 1460 um which is well let me check what uh let me check what the actual thing is Artlist, I yeah know. so the the standard boot is called the 1460 um this is the 101 uh which is a slightly shorter version of the 1460 um so i can show you the 1460 in a minute but basically these were the only ones that they had in my size, which is size 8 Music in Doc Martens. I'm a 7.5 in everything else, but in Doc Martens, uh, they don't do half sizes. So what I realized was with an insole, so I've got this insole from Doc Martens when I got these, and I tried them on with the insole. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it's quite thick uh, in the heel area. So that is actually quite, well, it's quite carved, but relatively thick in the heel area, relatively flat at the front, but still it gives you a bit of a, a raise, but it's I more, it kind of gives you more of a raise on the back, but it does really make your foot kind of build up. And if you're like in between sizes like I am, then um, you'd want to get like a size, half a size up to where you are. So I'm 7.5, so I went for the eight. And um, yeah, with the insole, it's perfectly fine. Uh, they're quite dirty, like as you can see, well, they've got some dust and marks on them. Um, there's the other shoe. Uh, the leather on these are, like, they're actually quite stiff for the Made in England pair. They uh, have like a frayed sort of like open um, leather, so like you can kind of just see it fraying, which I thought was pretty cool when I first saw these. Um, I tried using mink oil to kind of, I like kind of rubbed it in to kind of make them softer, but to be honest, it didn't, doesn't help massively the way I've done it. Um, I mean, it's kind of a bit softer, might help with the break in long term, but you, I could have just left them, I guess. Like, I think it's kind of overrated um, putting the mint coil in. And even the balm, which I've got, which is this, uh, this wonder, well, the wonder Bal balsam, balsam. Uh, from Doc Martens is it's cool, but I mean if you're putting it on the outside I don't know how much it's actually gonna do and On these made in England pairs like the creases. I mean, I don't care about creases, but they kind of look a bit bubbly um, Yeah, I don't know if you can tell on this camera, but uh, It looks like the surface polyurethane whatever this plastic plasticky I think it's a plasticky surface they have on this on the smooth finish, but it's kind of separating from the actual leather and I don't like that. Um, but you can't really tell when you're wearing them, so it's fine really, uh, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say about these. Uh, they're not super comfortable, but they're not too bad and they would take ages to break in. Without the insole, it's like super flat. And in fact, it's just like wood. It's literally, can you hear that? It's literally card, it's cardboard down there. Like you can see it's a bit dirty now, but that's literally cardboard that you'd be walking on and I think for made in England pairs, like I think they're super overrated to be honest. Um, I might, I am probably going to sell these because they're not, number one, they're not comfortable. Number two, Artlist, I, I think they were too expensive for what they are, for sure. I don't know why made in England is such a thing. Like I, I would love to support made in England and oh, by the way, this is a soul, a bit dirty, but I would love to support something made in England, but if they're super uncomfortable, uh, they're way more uncomfortable than anything else and they take a hundred years to break in and um, yeah, I don't know, maybe it's just the style of the shoe, but I just didn't like, I just, I just thought it was overrated and 
Also, for you wide footers, uh, this would actually be good for you guys because, um, well, compared to like apparently compared to the standard Doc Martens, these are actually a bit thinner. So, I mean, if you if you feel like the standard Doc Martens that you get in the 1460s uh, that are not made in England, uh, if you get them and your foot's like moving around a lot, maybe you need a made in England pair because it's actually a bit thinner. But to me, this was all. This was still a bit too wide for my liking. My foot's like super narrow. I've got narrow feet and uh, kind of flat feet as well. Um, but I could probably wear these for like a couple of months, and they would actually be fine. Um, uh, yeah, if I had none of these other ones that I'm going to show you, then I'd probably stick with these. But uh, to be honest, I'm going to get rid of them and. The box though for these is pretty cool. It's like um, a made in England box. So uh, you can see, I don't know, it's all a nice color and it comes with like a little leaflet inside, which is quite nice if you like that kind of thing. So they do at least give you that. Now, then I kind of went on, on Depop and I got like a used pair of made in England's. Again, made in England, so it's kind of similar, but these are the 1460 in red, um, I think Oxblood, the Oxblood colorway, um, and they're pretty nice. Uh, they were used on Depop, but there's a, like a special uh, seller on Depop, which kind of repurposes and resoles uh, Doc Martens, and they have a bunch of really like a lot cheaper Doc Martens, so they're like, you know, 100 pounds instead of like 170 or whatever and um i really like the color but again these are like these were super stiff they were like dried out leather or something like i don't know if they're like that when you buy them and you can see like the insides become dark because i've actually used mink oil to try to like make it softer but they're like still super hard like i don't know your legs are gonna be chafing like you need to wear like some like carbon fiber socks or something to like prevent this from actually killing your foot. Um, and to be honest, I don't want to wear anything which is going to kill me, <laughs> which is going to like rub my ankle so much that like I, I don't know, develop some sort of skin condition. Um, and that's what these felt like. And they're super wide as well for me again, even though Made in England is meant to be narrower, but I think because these are broken in, uh, you can see like all these creases and like the sides are just insane, but like, it's fine. It's gonna be like that. So don't worry about that too much. But like, it's it's just, I guess when it's used, it's not really me that made those creases. My foot then isn't shaped in this way. So like, that's that's the kind of downside of buying off Depot. Like, I think if you know your size and you know exactly what you want and you want slightly more break in shoes, then fine. But for me to just, like, I don't know. I, I don't really know if it's worth it to be honest. Um, if you're gonna end up buying something which isn't kind of conforming to your foot and this was not conforming and not manageable for me like again if I had if I only had these in my uh, wardrobe which you know I don't um, then I would constantly be wearing these and they would get maybe more comfortable but again the leather's just like I mean for a made in England pair why are these rated so high like it's all bubbling out it's all like the surface polyurethane or whatever this is. I don't know what the plastic is to be honest. I'm calling it polyurethane. Maybe I'm right. Let me know in the comments. But um, it's kind of really bubbly and it's just bad quality. Uh, so anyway, that's that. I then, I don't have them anymore because I returned them, but I, I got the Solar there in the Oxblood colorway. I literally just tried it on and I just put it back in the box. Um, I want Doc Martens, so maybe I'm like a fashion person, I don't know, like maybe, you know, I'm just trying to kind of jump on a trend, but what I realized when I put it on was, oh wow, okay, this is slightly more comfortable, but in other ways it didn't feel super comfortable to be honest. It felt shoddily made, even compared to these made in England, and um, yeah, I don't know what the, the hype is. Like the leather felt slightly thicker. Maybe that's a good thing. 
it had a shank plate, I didn't feel anything massively sort of more supportive. But like I said, I haven't worn them for ages. So if you want that that kind of um, output, like that kind of um, feedback about what it's like, then maybe go to like other kind of YouTube videos. But for me, I was not impressed with the style or the initial input comfort. Um, yeah, it didn't really do it for me. So I returned those and yeah, I decided to kind of look into more Doc Martens. And the next one, I like, I kind of just went back to the shop and I, I was like, just having a look around. And also online, I kind of saw these and somebody was wearing them in this article where like they went around the world. And you know, maybe I'll tag it below because I found it on like another uh, Doc Martens video actually. But what was really interesting was, um, so this person, this lady kind of went around, I think she's French. She went around the world in these and um, that was the only shoe that she had. And she went to many different countries and different conditions, ice, snow, whatever, like hot desert, like in, there's like a mud bath that she's walking through with them. And they are apparently women's uh, kind of sizes or whatever, but they're, they're quite unisex. Like I, I think anyone can pull them off. Um, as long as you can fit in them. And I got, so these are the shoes. They're called the Virginia Pascal 1460s Doc Martens. And I love these, like I'm in love with these. Uh, this reminds, like the top down view, reminds me of like back at school. So I used to wear, I used to have Doc Martens, I think at one point. Um, I couldn't remember if I did, but my parents said that, yeah, they think I did because I was like asking for them. But I remember everybody at school in the 90s had Doc Martens and I remember they look like, they look classic like this with, you know, black, um, with the stitching and with this sole, which is beautiful. Um, I love, I love this, I love the silhouette for this and with the soft leather, look, look how, look how crumply it is. This does not damage your foot. Um, and right now I've got some uh, of this Wonder Balsam on it so it's a bit kind of sticky-ish um not sticky but it's still got some of the residue on it which will kind of absorb and rub in uh but I, I just put it on last night so that's why it looks a bit kind of i don't know waxy i guess um this is the one so like i had all of these that i've just showed you but this is the one that i go to like this is this is the one that i, I go for because when I put them on, they are just perfect. Like no break in time. The leather looks amazing. I actually like the look of the textured leather, but and when you wear it, it still looks quite shiny and smooth, but it just looks like a proper boot. It looks, you know, when you tie it all up, it looks kind of, actually it looks quite masculine to be honest. It doesn't look feminine at all. Um, so if you're worried about that guys, then you know, anyone can pull this off. Music it's both masculine, it's unisex basically. Um, so I wouldn't worry about it being classed as like women's sizes or anything, but it's the Virginia Pascal 1460 and it's a beautiful boot. Um, what I found was I was wearing them with these and you can, because this is again size eight and I'm seven and a half. But um, what I found was like, when I wear them with the, with the insole, my, foot is like, it's touching all sides at all time. And that's fine for some people. If you like a tight, snug fit, that's actually kind of what you would want. And um, what I found was without the insole, somehow it was like even more comfortable. Like I just tried them on without the insole once and I was like, ooh, that's nice. And what I, I think it is, is without the insole, like it's already got like, it's already got some sort of, yeah, it's got this removable insole in it already. Um, very thin, very thin, but the comfort in these is astounding. Like I'm bouncing in these way more than I am in the Made in England. Um, and you know, they say Doc Martens have bouncing soles. So um, yeah, this insole's not going back in. Um, but what I'm trying to say is when I was wearing these without the extra insole, then my foot was way more flat. Like. It's not like you're on a high heel or anything, like you're not on an incline. But with this insole, 
it, my foot feels like it's like at 45 degrees or something. Like I'm exaggerating, but it does feel like it's way higher at, the, at my heel compared to the front. Music and I just don't like that feeling. Like my, my toes would kind of slide in when I'm walking. It just feels like sliding like forwards. My foot is sliding forwards and my heel is sliding off. And then it's just not in the right position. This shoe was designed for you to wear it without an insole, in my opinion. Um, I mean, without an extra insole, which is ridiculous. Like, I, yeah, like to have to like buy another insole to put in like an already expensive shoe is kind of ridiculous anyway. But luckily, I don't need to do that. And um, my foot doesn't, it, it moves, you, you should be able to kind of move your, your foot moves around a bit. But when you tie it, I tie it pretty tight and I go up to like the, this eyelet actually. So I leave two because I just feel like it and it doesn't really bother me. But everything else is like super tight. Um, almost touching, but like a little gap in between. And then my foot is kind of snug in the heel section. And this section is pretty hard. Like, you know, this is all fluffy and everything. So there's no support. You don't need support up there, by the way. You only need it at the heel. This is your ankle support at the heel. That's the most important thing. And um, that's where my heel is. And my, uh, you know, I've got enough room in the front. So when I'm walking the whole day, my foot doesn't scrape on the sides or anything. My toe doesn't kind of rub on the sides. And also when I flex the boot, my toe isn't hitting the front. And that's perfect. That's what you want. And slightly bigger is always better, I think, with these shoes. And with, um, I've got Doc Martens, the, uh, the double dock sock. So this is actually like, it's got two layers in it. And, um, it's perfect. Like with the thicker sock, even if you don't have the double dock sock, just wear two pairs of socks. But if you do have it, um, you you can just wear that without an insole and take a half a bigger size and it's perfect, I'm telling you. And um, even with your true to size, if you can, like if you are a size eight and you get a size eight, I'm sure it'll be fine. And uh, you know, you, you could probably just wear like a thinner sock. But yeah, I love these, probably my favorite so far out of all of the Doc Martens I've had. And uh, let me just show you both together. So yeah, and they go with anything and you can wear your trousers like your jeans. Like I wear them, I love them with black jeans, but I think even with blue jeans, they'd be nice. But you know, you can fit those over the top, um, like maybe like down to there, but like also if you roll your, your jeans up to kind of see this fluffy thing, um, just tag out the back. That also looks really nice. So. Yeah, I would really recommend these and I think these are going to last me a long time and maybe I'll travel around the world in them also. <laughs> um, but because uh, I love my shoes, there was one more that I really liked uh, the look of and I just had to get it and that's the uh, Doc Martens Church style shoe. It's called Church and I think it's like a monkey boot or something but I think apparently this is like one of the classic designs for Doc Martens uh, that they looked back in the catalogue for or something. And um, you can see like the sole is like a beautiful colour, it's a bit different, it's a bit darker. It's got like a reddish kind of hue to it. Music licensing. And the design on the, these is like amazing. They go with anything like the black with the yellow stitching on the upper is just so cool. Like I just love that. Um, and the insides like look a bit like the, uh, where are they, the 101s, the Made in England. But the difference is, uh, this is, this is softer leather, like you can see how fluffy this is. Um, so it's weird because this is not made in England, these are not made in England. And that's the weird thing, that's like, I guess that's the moral of the, the story of, or the point of this video, is made in England worth it? And I think it's not worth it, guys. If you value your ankles and feet, like look how supple this is. Look how supple Music that is and look how cool it looks. And you know, the design's perfect. The uh, construction is perfect. Like, you know, I'm used to getting like sneakers like Air Jordans, which are terrible, terrible. Like, I don't even know why, why would anyone ever buy those now? And Doc Martens is by no means like that good, right? It's just a standard boot is probably overpriced anyway, but you buy it for the, the label and you buy it for the look. But the way they make them is still pretty good compared to those sneakers. And um, yeah, like, you know, the heel's pretty firm 
Uh, it's got like a toe pap, whatever. Not probably not steel, but it's hard there. And the shape's kind of a bit more flat compared to the 1460s. Let me just show you a comparison. So it's yeah. It so like the church is kind of like a sleeker, more formally, more formal kind of look. Whereas this is like definitely a standard boot kind of look on the uh, 1460. And um, yeah, so this, the charge comes with flat laces also. So you can see the flat laces. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really liking these. Um, I just started wearing them. And you know, the tongue's not too hard as well. And I have to like put them up. I have to tighten them up quite a lot. So it's like, it's not closing, but it's like, it's like that when I tighten up the laces. Um, but I saw somebody wearing them in the shop and I was just like, wow, they look so cool. And I just had to get them. So I'm going to keep these and I'm going to keep the Pascal Virginias for now. And I'm probably going to leave it to that right now because they're quite different. Um, but they both have their uniqueness and they're both super comfortable. And also I tried these with the, with my insoles and um, again, I don't like the kind of right height on the back, on the heel, but without the insoles, even though there's like quite a lot of room then, it's actually fine. Like I, I tighten them up and with the dock sock that I, I showed you, um, it's perfect. Like just wear thicker socks with these Artist and the right height on the back, like would feel quite natural. And I really don't think they're designed for an insole. They, they, when you go to the shop, they will try to sell you an insole, but to, to me, like, why would you want to go up? Why would your foot want to rest like higher on this thing? Your foot wants to be locked in at the back. Your heel Music wants to be down there and you want to be locked in on your like the bones right above the heel, which is perfect without the insole. So you don't want, you don't want to mess with that to me. Um, but yeah, I really love these. Uh, I think my journey through buying Doc Martens was painful, uh, but I, it was really interesting actually though, like compared to sneakers and um, you know, I think I'm a fan of these and I'm probably not going to wear my sneakers for a long time, uh, apart from maybe like just running to the shops or whatever, or going to the gym or something. But I love wearing these and I, I want to kind of keep them uh, for a couple of years or like whatever, like, you know, keep wearing them constantly. And yeah, I just really like them. So yeah, hopefully this helped you with, you know, comfort styling and imagine. like music insoles or not and sizing. But yeah, if you liked it, please like and subscribe and yeah, so I'll see you on the next one.